Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Arion and you can learn, make and create together with me. So today I'm going to show you how you can edit this portrait step by step using my action. Without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see this portrait needs to be clean and for clean we're going to use pot healing brush tool, healing brush tool and patch tool. So click here on the clean and black on the player and click clean. After we do that we have the clean uh, the background duplicated rename clean and the black white help layer that helps us see some details so click on the clean layer click here on the spot filling brush tool zoom in start cleaning so i have to mention that i'm using wacom Intuos pro s it's really nice for a touch so if you are using mouse right now you have to switch in the wacom Intuos pro or any other pen tablet because it will make your workflow really fast so i highly recommend you guys go get one if you are serious into retouching and if you are not i will still recommend you guys go get one because because it will make your workflow really fast and as you can see we are cleaning with the spot healing brush but i'm gonna switch to the healing brush and patch tool And here we are after we've done some cleaning. Now it's time for the dodge and burn. So I'm just gonna go click here on dodge, click play, click on the burn, dodge and burn, I'll check clear and click play. Now open this and click on the level, slide this into the right or into the left. And this is the inverted way of dodge and burn. You can even dodge in the inverted way or you can dodge in the normal way. So I'm gonna start in the dodge and burn inverted way. So click here on the dodge. So on the dodge, we are going to work only in the bar brighter part. So it's the inverted way. And we have to burn on the darker part. As I said, this is the inverted way of dodge and burning. So I'm gonna start with the dodge first. Now turn off the dodge and burn health check layer and check it before and after. As you can see, we are dodging in the darker parts of this portrait and it's starting to look good now open the group and turn off the desaturated layer because we don't need this right now and reduce the opacity of this one now click on the burn turn on the dungeon burn help check clear and start working on the darker parts i'll zoom in and keep working Now let's just check out before and after what we have done here on the burn and as you can see we have burned some highlights and I think that I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this one but first let's just turn off the saturated layer and check out before and after. I think it's looking good but not that much so I'm just gonna reduce this by 50% something like that and check out before and after and I think it's looking okay. Now merge these three layers into one. Now delete the dodge and burn help check layer. And here we have a before and after. Now click again on the dodge. And again on the burn. And this time we are going to work in the normal way because it's not inverted. And here we are after the clean and dodge and burn in the inverted way. Now we're going to dodge and burn in the normal way. So I'm just gonna click on dodge, click play and click burn click play now turn on the black and white help player and click on the dodge so i'm just gonna zoom in and start dodging in some parts now check before and after of what you've done so far in the dodge and again, open the group and turn out the desaturated because we don't need this right now. And I think that this one is looking okay. Now I'm just gonna reduce the opacity of this one just a little and click on the burn and turn on the black one help layer. Zoom in and we are going to burn the highlights just a little. Now 
now check it before and after. Don't know the black and white help layer, and I think that is looking okay. I'm just gonna reduce this, check it before and after what you've done so far, and merge these layers into one. Rename this clean and dodge and burn. Check it before and after, and I think it's looking okay. Now click here on the frequency separation, click play, and slide this into 0.1 and zoom in into the texture apply this into the right until the, de until the texture disappears sorry guys now let's just check and i think that 8 would be enough now that we are done click on the group and here we have the low frequency and the high frequency low the frequency is the color and high frequency is the texture so we are going to work separate ways and in the low frequency you are going to use mixer brush for the settings wet by 10 load 45 mix 55 and flow 33 and zoom in in the forehead turn off the high frequency or the texture and just start mixing the skin tone you can turn on the black one help layer and you can see what we are doing in the low frequency we are just mixing the skin tones Now check it before and after what you've done in the low frequency and zoom in here, create another mask and with a black brush and 100% opposite I'm just gonna paint it here by removing what you've done in that part, check it before and after and if you think that low frequency is way too much you can always lower the opacity of this one, just go to the opacity and go down maybe 75 check a before and after again and yeah i think 75 is looking okay now after we are done in the low frequency or in the color it's time for the high frequency or the texture so in the texture we are going to use clone stamp tool to clean the portrait even more so i'm gonna use clone stamp tool and click alt keyboard click here to copy and paste it here just like that so be careful when you are using clone stamp tool that you don't want to copy paste the texture from here to here because it will create some bad texture so be careful and copy and paste the texture as near as possible now that we are done even with the high frequency, let's just close the frequency separation group and check it before and after what we have done so far. Now that we are done with frequency separation, as you can see before and after, it's time to add, to add some more dodge and burn. So this is the general dodge and burn. What we have done before, it was local, so this is global. And turn on the black white hand player again. Use 10% and white brush and paint it on the highlights where we want to dodge. Now check it before and after, I think it's looking okay, I'm just gonna reduce this by 78 maybe, something like that. Now click here on the burn and I will burn the cheeks just a little, I'm gonna paint a little around the forehead, under the lips and a little on the eyebrows. Now check it before and after on the burn. I think it's okay, but I'm gonna reduce this by 73 maybe. Check it before and after of this entire process. And I think it's looking okay. Now check on the black and white. 
Now, after we are done with the retouch, uh, it's time for some makeup details. So I'm just gonna click here on background, make another copy, hold shift keyboard, click here and rename this retouch. Drag and drop this by creating another copy and merge the group. Now click Ctrl A to select all this window, click C for copy, go to file new and create another one, paste it here, click here and merge layers into one. Now zoom in into the eyes, click on the I plus all in, click play. Open the folder and as you can see it says remove veins, paint it here. Now click here that says smoky eyes and mascara, click play and click here that says eyeshadow speaker color. So double click by creating uh, two empty layers. Now zoom in and click on the mascara and with a white brush and maybe 25%. I'm just going to paint it here on the eyelashes by making them darker. Now zoom out, check it before and after. I think it's okay. I'm just gonna add just a little more here. And reduce this by 35. Because it's, it was way too dark. Click here that says smoky eyes. And paint it around the eyes. Now check it before and after. This one with percent is okay now click here that says eyeshadow speaker color so you have to pick another color maybe green maybe pink i don't know you choose so i'm gonna stick with this kind of yellow that is in the eyes and 100 percent opposite of the brush i'm just gonna paint it here and zoom out as you can see we are putting some makeup around the eyes so you can choose whatever color you want for example pink and just paint it around the mouth and here you have a different color for your makeup but i'm gonna stick with a green so i'm gonna copy this color and maybe another one something into yellow and start painting now do the process in both of them I'll check it before and after and yeah I think is okay I'm just gonna reduce this by 25 because I don't want that much changes and click on the other one so choose another darker color maybe this one and paint it on the sides of this part now check it before and after just a little green do that process in the other one. Now check a before and after. I'm going to create another empty eyeshadows. And this time with a black color. I'm just going to paint it here. By making them even darker. And switch into the white. To make them brighter. Switch again to black to, for darker now check a before and after yeah i think they are looking amazing now i'm just just gonna go by 75 maybe Something like that and drag and drop all these or maybe just group and rename i makeup drag and drop this into the original file put it here now delete this one, click here that says lips and cheeks, click play, we're gonna delete cheeks, maybe leave it, click here that says rose lips, zoom in and paint it on the lips by making them look even better. Let me just check out before and after and 100% uh, 65 sorry is way too much i'm just gonna go by 20 maybe or maybe just 10 
and merge this into one or maybe not just delete the rosy cheeks and click here that says lips dodge and burn click play and as you can see pick lips color dodge so you have to pick the color of the lips which is pink right now and i'm gonna dodge lips just a little Now check a before and after. Yeah, this one is looking really nice. So I'm just gonna lower just a little and click here. This has pick lips color burn. So you have to pick another darker color of the lips. And I think that I will stick with this, maybe this one and paint it to create some burn on the lips. As you can see, this one is way too much because it's destroying so i'm just gonna go by five percent maybe ten and check a before and after it's okay now click here that says lips glow click play zoom in and paint around the lips this one is for making them in glow effect Now zoom out and check a before and after and reduce the opacity by maybe 10 and I think that we are done with the lips. Now click shift and group the layers, rename makeup lips or lips makeup, drag and drop this into the original file. Now delete this one because we have the original file. Now check a before and after all this entire process, check on the eye makeup and if you think it's too much just lower this into 80%, click on the lips, also the, if you think that lips looks way too much always lower the opacity of this one. Now check a before and after process and I think that is looking really nice and now that we are done with the retouch I'm just gonna put all these layers into the retouch and put these into the retouch group drag and drop right click merge group because it's time for the color grade so for color grade we are going to another window as we did before now click here on the color grade white skin and check all these color grade one by one until we find the best one So I'm gonna stick with CG3 and CG A1, just drag and drop this into the original file. Now click here and click CG A1, click play, drag and drop this into the original file. And here we have the CG3 and CG A1, so I'm gonna check all these layers one by one. I'm gonna put CG A1 under the CG3 and go by 50% of opacity. I'll click on the CG3 and I think I'm gonna stick with the 75, something like that. I'll check a before and after what we've done so far in this color grade process. So I'm gonna put face contouring here, click play and check a before and after of this process. Let me just reduce that and we are done here as you can see a before and after of this entire process so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description and don't forget to leave some comments about this video tutorial please let me know if i'm understandable or not let me know if you learned something from this video and see you guys in the next one peace